All right, well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, people over at YouTube, Pastor Dow, it's time for a spring garden update out here in the country, in Tennessee. Well, this is the way our greenhouse is going thus far. Let me get in here. We got a big old fan in here right now. And um, we got to get rid of this tree. That is ridiculous. We have got to get rid of this tree. We've got literally a tree growing up on the inside of our greenhouse. That's got to go. That's our pump box. All right, here we go, peppers. All right, peppers. Peppers on the other side over here. I see the reason why she puts them on the other side, right? On this, these two beds. It's because um, you're coming in and um, you know you don't want the greenhouse to be so cluttered. Here's a big old fan that we have in the greenhouse right now. It feels pretty good. All screened in, like I said before, I need to get rid of this thing right here. But anyway, here we are. Here's our tomato right here. Here's a shot of a greenhouse here this morning. I see right here, these are paste tomatoes. They're coming in really good. Paste tomatoes coming in really good. And uh, as you can see, it's a full-time job. Paste tomatoes looking pretty good. Carolina, where's the uh, slicing tomatoes? They're down there? Okay, on that end. All right. They're flowering, doing pretty good. Right now, I would say that our tomato plants on average is averaging a little over six feet tall. Six feet tall. We got a lot of tomatoes in here because we use a lot of salsa. Uh, a lot of cucumbers. Cucumbers are flowering. Doing pretty good. Um, we also have a fan down here. Ah, oh, the country life, huh? There we go. Slicing the things. Coming in right there. Isn't that beautiful? These down here are more like four feet, five feet tall. Ah, look at the starts. All the starts. So we've already done harvest some cabbage and been eating it and a lot of lettuce. We just had a feast day. Wow, look at the celery, y'all. Would y'all look at the celery right here? Is that not beautiful? Look at that celery. Wow, 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 wow. All right, work table. I'm not gonna make the video as long today, okay? Uh, not gonna make it as long today. We'll go over here for a second. Let you actually see a little bit of the pears. Ah, pears, look at this. Look, and this time, I think we're doing pretty good. It's time to spray them so we can get a bunch of pears and make some jam. All right, pears and the apples are coming. I think if we get these on time, we spray these on time, we'll, we should have pretty good apples right there. We should. Okay, so let's go over here and look at the lettuce greenhouse for a second. Always have plenty of peat moss. You need to go out and buy, if you have a truck, always buy one or two things of peat moss if you can catch it because everything is getting scarce. And the last thing you want to do is, is, is be caught without some peat moss. All right, that's some mint for mint tea. Y'all remember the last time we was in here and I told you about all the lettuce that we had? It's got some black seed Simpson in here. I'm still looking for some Boston butter. But again, we have more peppers all down through here. Some Swiss chard. Black seed Simpson. Some mint. Got an herb thing over here. Now we're doing something. We're actually doing something a little bit new this year. Um, and what we're doing is, is I'm actually uh, experimenting with these these covers all right i'm experimenting with these covers 
All right. As you can tell, look at all, all these raised beds right here. Look at all this. They were in here weeding these things the other day. And of course, there's the herb bed. Give you another look over here so you can see our actual water drip system for this. Coming out here to more of the raised beds right here. Um, of course, you say there's a lot of dew on the ground. We got to get a lot. We got to harvest a lot right here. As you can see, there's a broccoli head coming up here in the center. And as you can see, we've already done uh, harvested some and eaten good broccoli. And there's another good broccoli head right there. And of course, again, let me give y'all the wisdom on raised beds. We've done conventional gardening, right? The wisdom on raised beds is that you can plant more in a shorter area, a more condensed area than you can in traditional gardening. And you can manage it better, a whole lot better. Um, and that is a fact. And plus, um, like for instance, I made this aisle right here, this one a little bit too wide. Now I have to go back in my mind and try to figure out why I made it so wide. I don't even know why I made it so wide, but um, I did, as you can tell. I can't remember what I was doing, but if you, we go over to the next bed, uh, and you notice we have the broccoli in stages right here, okay? The broccoli is in stages. And all of these, what you see that the white paper over there, or the white paper, the white linen, lint that's covering up over there, all of that is um, blackberry, domestic blackberries. And we're trying to make sure we're not feeding these birds because these birds like taking our blackberries our garlic we're just about ready to harvest it and this is um cabbage right here i believe this one is jersey wakefield it could be jersey wakefield but this is our cabbage and what our cabbage look like as you can tell we love garlic you can, i'm sure you can see that i'm not out laying blocks this morning I got a few things I need to do. Uh, the brothers are working diligently on setting up the walls for the port walls. I, I must make a run and go get some more of this black fabric um, and, and try to replace all this. As you can see, we've already done harvest all of this cabbage. We done replanted over here and done more over here as well. And we're replanted. <coughs> More over here, and and let me give y'all an example. See, when you're living on a community or a homestead, you have to change your way of thinking. Now, yes, we do. Like up at the top of the hill, on our gardens, I don't even, I haven't even uh, put on video yet. Um, yes, we do have um, corn in abundance up there. We have watermelons. We have okra. Um, but what we do, and the and the wisdom is. Is, is after 24 years of doing this gardening, is that we, what we do is, is we, we plant for bulk. Because see, we're on average, we have a lot of saints that live around us. And, and then we have the saints on the community. So on average, we're feeding somewhere like 60 people um, at dinner time. And so when we plant things, we have to do it in bulk. Now today is fifth day. After this grass dries out, myself and Teacher Shane is gonna have to be on, we're gonna have to be on this. We'll have to be on this for sure. Over here, um, we have watermelons and straw. We need to actually put cardboard down. Uh, I see we got plastic to help for the, um, the weeds and stuff, and over here we have sweet potatoes. A whole bunch of sweet potatoes. Now, and then of course we have more gardens over here and raised beds, and then you'll see some over at the parking lot as well. Mm. Up here, these are 
our country clotheslines. <laughs> These are our little country clotheslines and and uh, look like they're already, I told you it was gonna be harvesting, harvesting garlic. And that's what they're doing, Mother Carol's out here doing laundry early. You got out early, didn't you? Yes, sir, five something. So they're out here harvesting garlic. Ooh, look at these bulbs. Can y'all smell it just yet? Not yet, I can't. Y'all can't smell it yet? No. You smell it? I smell it when I get close. No, <laughs> nobody smells it. But look at them bulbs right there. And we plant this garlic right here in the winter time. Well, we got a lot of weed eating and cutting to do today, no doubt about it. And then there's um, Jordan up there with some squash and a postage stamp garden over there. Stay busy. I don't know how she's going to keep up with that thing with just had a little baby. But uh, anyway, oh well. So the sisters are all gathering together. The brothers are already up at it. They're getting ready to come out here and harvest. And that's pretty much uh, the main part because we have onions over there as well. We got food literally planted everywhere out here. And with today's prices on food, you see the reason why we grow so much food. As a matter of fact, we're actually going to grow more food. As a matter of fact, I'm going to actually purchase another greenhouse and set it at the top of the hill and get it set up, and uh, which will cause more labor, more work on us. But... You just can't, we, we grow literally food year round, and you just can't beat that food year round. Check this out, y'all. This is one of our kerosene tanks, and that's our garden storage building. Those are our layers. Mother Carol, how much, um, how many dozen of eggs are we getting a day? 11 12. We're getting 11 to 12 dozen eggs a day. And boy, I ain't gotta tell y'all how much eggs are costing out there right now. Over here, I want y'all to see the apples. Like I said, we gotta spray these and stay on top of them if they're gonna be any worse. All right, everything is looking up and looking really good. And like I said, here's our garden building right here. Change hands here for a second. She's in there looking for tools, but see all our tools and implements for the garden right here? They're all in here. Oh man, I didn't know water was getting in down there. We gotta seal that. That's coming from the outside, isn't it? Yes. Right there? All right. So, as we go on back down this way, again, um, we're also gonna redo the foundation of this. We're gonna put it in concrete. We're not gonna mess around with um, railroad ties, woods, and blocks like that no more. We just ain't gonna do it. We're gonna, what we're doing, <coughs> We may have started a certain way. Two rows of domestic blackberries. We may have started off, sorry, a certain way. But as we continue to go on now, when I build things, my mindset is to build them to last for 50 to 100 years. And we need to do it now, considering the way that the economy is going. Since we have a buffoon in office and, a, and, and the people who don't know if that butthole is pointing towards the ground or not, but that's neither here nor say. Watch this. Out here, got a bunch of cilantro. Weed on a lot of cilantro. A lot of cilantro. <clears throat> and of course, we have herb beds. So everything's looking pretty good. Like I said, we have one, two, three garden areas. Uh, two greenhouses getting ready to have a third greenhouse we're going to have that set up and get it ready for winter time hopefully i don't want to put too much work because that's not when you look at it you know there's really not many of us brethren out here on this land considering all the work that we have to do um and i know what's going on one reason why i'm so big about getting building ups right now is because everything is so expensive we just caught that steel building at the right time uh, Elder Doug actually uh, wanted to put the order in and uh, we thank the father that he was pushing to get that done because the way prices have gone up and stuff, I couldn't even imagine how much that steel building at the top of the hill would have cost us. Uh, the teacher Shane is welding some storage racks. He's been on that for the last week or two. Um, 
Look like some ectobian right here. It's growing right here. And look like Mama Nelly is heading to the heading to the garden. So it's six o'clock. It's just about six o'clock in the morning. Everybody's up. And people are up and out getting after it. Uh, good old country life. Nobody wouldn't take nothing for it. But I know one thing, we definitely gotta cut this grass today. And we will. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed our um, little country um, garden video. That was only for one section and two greenhouses. We still had two other gardens as, as, uh, on two ends of the land. And hopefully one day we'll get you that too. Just wanted to give you an update. Y'all have a wonderful day.